the dreaded statements under section 164 CRPC part 3 it has become an even bigger problem for defense counsels and for accused persons because in the recent past the supreme court has come down heavily on the practice of defense counsels and accused persons trying to obtain a copy of the 164 CRPC statement prior in time so the supreme court says that the right time for you to get a copy of the 164 CRPC statement along with a copy of the charge sheet is at the time when summons are issued to you as an accused person it is only then that you are entitled to obtain a copy of the charge sheet along with the 164 statement but nowadays but for a lot of time what used to happen was accused persons defense counsels would go the moment the charge sheet is filed and try to obtain a copy use it to obtain bail use it to try and go for quashing now the supreme court says you will only get it at that point of time but why should we not try to use it to the best possible uh, advantage that we can get as soon as possible we need it to secure bail we need it to go for discharge we and or at the very least prepare our matter so that we can go for a 100% acquittal